Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In the world of Call of Duty, the summer season is also leak season. Now, presumably during leak season, we're talking about the next Call of Duty title. In this case, it'd be MW2 and also Warzone 2 in there as well. But today we got some very strange content leaks, some weapon leaks, that don't necessarily pertain to MW2, they will eventually pertain to Warzone 2, but rather Call of Duty 2024, the next Treyarch game that we're not getting for quite some time. But here we are, we've got new leaks regarding what weapons we could see in that game. Also some new info on MW2 as well. As we break it all down, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. It does really help the channel grow. Let's try and aim for 2000 likes on this one. And if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed, every single day I got you covered with everything going on in COD. So feel free to hit that sub button. That way you can always guarantee you are up to date. Now, real quick, and as always, whenever we're going over new leaks and new rumors, nothing here is set in stone. And obviously, when it comes to Call of Duty 2024, that is so far out, plenty of things are going to change. But it is interesting why and how we're already getting leaks on that game. But yeah, take everything with a grain of salt. As always, things can change, things can be altered, things can be scrapped for what it's worth. But this information is courtesy of reality over on Twitter. The vast majority of the leaks regarding MW2, Warzone 2, DMZ, etc. all stem from reality, primarily because of the Warzone mobile files. And that's what is like sort of the tie between everything today. Because like I said, we got a bit of MW2 info to go over first, but then when it comes to COD 2024, you might be wondering why is it that we're already hearing leaks and rumors about this game? Well, as we know, it was announced from Call of Duty a few months back that all the future CODs are going to be based off of the new engine that they've made for MW2 and Warzone 2. It's an upgraded version of Infinity Ward's engine that was used in MW 2019. Everything is based off of that specific engine. Now, of course, Treyarch's titles will feel a bit different. They'll be enhanced off of that engine. Same deal if Sledgehammer gets another go at it. But that core engine means that projects far in advance could potentially leak into earlier games since they all share the same engine, which is not really a situation that we've ever had before. So we can actually end up seeing a lot of Call of Duty 2024 stuff leak out uh, from the files well, well before we even know what the game is going to be, just like today, which is uh, <laughs> it's just a weird situation. But before we get to that, let's talk MW2. For one, uh, Reality actually put out a new tweet based off of something that has to do with the swimming mechanic and the underwater mechanic in MW2 and Warzone 2 that says it's a multiplayer gesture for swimming underwater. You'd be basically under dead silence, which more or less, according to what Reality says on Twitter, confirms dead silence being in MW2. Now, this doesn't specify whether or not it would be a perk like what a lot of people want to have or if it'd be a field upgrade like obviously what we saw in MW 2019 and in Warzone, which was controversial in its own way, but it does indicate that we are going to have a form of dead silence in MW 2. Now, speaking of perks, we of course talked about some of these a few days back when we went over a list of returning perks, a pretty lengthy list of returning perks that initially had me saying, you know, that's kind of interesting that that many different perks would be returning. Hopefully it's not a case of we are just running the same class setups again for another two years in MW2 because it's a lot of the perks that we already run now in uh, Warzone and MW 2019. But in addition to some of those returning perks, we got a new list of more potential perks, keyword potential, including Pitcher, which I have no idea what that could potentially be, Extra Tactical, that one seems pretty self-explanatory, right? Focus, which obviously we had as a weapon perk back in Warzone in MW 2019 to help negate some flinch. So I'd imagine that could be something that does sort of the same. We have Hustle, potentially could be something like Lightweight or makes you move uh, faster with maybe heavier weapons, something along those lines. Then also uh, Tune Up, which obviously uh, we already have in the game as well. The interesting thing to note from those, in my opinion at least, is the fact that we have a previous weapon perk in Focus being previewed as a potential full-time perk. So that does make me wonder if we're gonna see less weapon perks, any weapon perks at all on, uh, in the gunsmith area and on weapons, or if we'll see some of them transferred over into full-time perks to use universally. Of course, we're gonna have to wait and see. But now let's move on to Call of Duty 2024. Apparently, according to the Warzone mobile files and what reality is posted over on Twitter, we already have several Call of Duty 2024 Black Ops 5, Black Ops 6, Black Ops 
original reboot, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Whatever Treyarch's next project is, we have various code names already in the files. So we're going to run through these. Some of them you can probably guess based off of the names. Others, not as much. So we have uh, T10. That's the preface for all of these Call of Duty 2024 weapons. T9 would be uh, Warzone uh, 2 and Modern Warfare 2, I believe. But T10, Assault Rifle, uh, PO1, Coslo. Now, Coslo, it would just be, I would assume, a code name for something. And by the way, if you know any of these terms, if they sound familiar, feel free to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. We have another Assault Rifle, A King or AK Ing. Potentially a AK-74. It ends with uh, AKING-74. So AKING-74. I don't know. I'd assume that's an AK. We also have Assault Rifle Clove. No idea what that could be. We have BRCEZ or CZ. I would assume that'd be Battle Rifle. Uh, that's also what Reality was assuming uh, in, in his replies as well. We have LA uh, Pobble or Pable 3. Uh, LA, I'm not exactly sure what that could end up being. We have LM, so I'd assume that's a light machine gun. It's K-Sugar 58. We have SH, uh, which, is, which is presumably a shotgun called the Moslo 500 or the M500 potentially. We have SM, which I would assume is a uh, submachine gun or SMG. We have uh, M Paris 5 and also SM uh, S Roger 3. We also have SN, which is presumably sniper. We have the U Tiger and the uh, Hechuck. H-E-C-H-U-C-K, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And then lastly, there is P-I-S Tiger, P-I meaning pistol. So we have a couple of rifles, uh, presumably a battle rifle or a marksman rifle, maybe a burst rifle of some sort. Whatever L-A could be, I'm not exactly sure there. We have L-M, so L-M-G, we've got shotguns, we got some SMGs, some snipers, and a pistol. So kind of everything from uh, certain weapon classes outside of like melees pretty much. Interesting stuff, though. Obviously, based off of these code names, Coslo, uh, A-King, Clove, Pobble, Sugar, we get nothing out of those as far as detailing which weapons those are going to be. If it's going to be, you know, an ACR, if it's going to be an MP7, if it would be uh, a DSR-50 sniper. We just don't know based off of those code names, but it is interesting that we're still so far out from this game launching. MW2 hasn't even launched yet, but we are already seeing things surface because of the shared engines, which looking forward, like I said earlier, means we could see a lot of information regarding COD 2024 and Treyarch's next project leak out way earlier than ever before in years past. Sometimes we get bits and pieces of where the next game is going to be set, if it's gonna be future, past, present day, but nothing like this. This is definitely an outlier in terms of leaks that we've seen previously. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below regarding this. Obviously though, this is not going to be a super common topic on the channel moving forward with COD 2024. We've got MW2 on the horizon uh, alongside all these leaks that ended up surfacing that we just covered here. Uh, Reality also put out several new leaks regarding DMZ as well and various challenges and objectives that have come out. So we'll talk about those in a separate video, probably sometime next week in a DMZ dedicated video. But that said, that is effectively going to wrap things up for today. Probably some of the stranger leaks that I've covered in quite some time. But if you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. It does really help the channel grow. And if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed, every single day I got you covered with everything going on in COD. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. And as always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.